let's pretend we're, uh, we have two functions, f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x plus 2. What we're going to uh, do is we want to learn how to find, how, we're gonna, how can we combine these two functions. So we need to look at our operations. Uh, we have adding, um, multiplying, dividing, and subtracting that we can all do. So I want to kind of go through those, and I'm going to use an example uh, or with these two functions, how we can combine them. Then there's also a third, uh, I'm sorry, a fifth way that we can combine our two functions, which is composition, which we'll talk about in just a second. So the first one is uh, usually what you kind of learn when we're doing uh, addition or um, combining numbers is we look at adding. So let's talk about that one first. So if I want to add two functions, a lot of sometimes it's written like this, f plus g of x. Well, what that really means is f of x plus g of x. So on this example, I'll, all I'm really going to do is I'm going to substitute what my value of x squared is, or I'm sorry, my value of f of x, which is x squared, and then I'm going to add it to my value of g of x, which is uh, x plus 2. So that equals x squared plus x plus 2. Now, the next thing, if you could uh, simplify this, you'd want to look and see, is there anything I can simplify for this problem? And in this case, there's nothing you can simplify. This has, is, um, has a power of 2, this is a power of 1, and then that's a constant term. The next one, let's work on subtracting. So, subtracting, very similar to adding, f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x. It means the same thing, but there's a very important point that we need to look at. Is when I'm, whenever I'm substituting in a value or evaluating, um, evaluating like a function for a term, you want to make sure that you put parentheses around what you're uh, subtracting. And the reason being is because I'm not, if I don't put parentheses around there, it's very easy for me to forget that I'm subtracting x plus 2. And it looks to me, when I just look at this piece of paper, or the board, or wherever you're doing your work, when I just look at this, it looks like I'm just subtracting x and I'm adding 2. But that's actually not the case. We're actually subtracting the whole term, or I'm sorry, the whole um, binomial x plus 2. So therefore, my actual answer is x squared minus x, as I distribute to both of them, minus 2. Got to make sure you distribute that negative 1. Let's look at multiplying. So this would look like f times g of x equals f of x times g of x. It's pretty simple. It's just going through the same motions. But we're going to learn one more thing that's going to be composition that will kind of change it up. So f of x equals g of x. Um, so again, we're just going to multiply x squared times x plus 2. When I multiply them, x squared times x, remember you add the exponents, that has an exponent of 1, so that becomes x cubed. x squared times 2 gives you a positive 2x squared. Dividing. That was a little off, but we'll be able to work that. Um, a lot of times with the dividing is we can't really reduce it so much anymore, so what we look into is uh, finding the domain as well. So that would be f of g of x. And so that's going to be f of x divided by g of x. So now when I look at this uh, problem, it's going to take my f of x, which is x squared, and put it over x plus 2. So here we can't, um, in fact, we can't reduce this anymore. However, we can determine what the domain is, or at least what values we cannot have on the, uh, what values x cannot be. Because remember, when you're looking for the domain, um, you're always looking for what are, the, what are the values that your function is defined for. Well, we know that this function will not be defined for a negative 2 when x equals negative 2. And the reason being is if you plugged in a negative 2 for this problem, negative 2 plus 2 would give you 0, and we cannot divide by 0. So to find out what, what values you cannot use, just say 0 equals x plus 2, whatever's on your bottom. And then when I subtract, uh, my 2 for my x, I obtain x equals a negative 2. So therefore, your function is defined for all values except for when x equals negative 2. Um, I'll get on to composition next, uh, 
next uh, video. So you guys can, I'll probably have the link up there where you can uh, map to it. So we'll look at combination of functions. Here are your four operations and I'll work in composition on uh, next, next video.